This old photo album helps James Zizinski rewind the time back 40 years. We, we purchased the property in 1968 from uh, Clive and Agnes Gildersey. They were old and they were I wanted to retire. Szynski and his family have owned the Wounded Knee Massacre site ever since. Now he's looking to give the Oglala Sioux Tribe that opportunity. The uh, property today probably is worth in, in excess of 3.9 million, but this is the only figure that we could come up with to, to cover our loss at Wounded Knee and still have the Oglala Sioux Tribe acquire this National Historic Site. At a site where 300 Lakota lives were slaughtered in 1890, Szynski says his family had experienced a tragedy of its own at the hands of the American Indian Movement. Uh, they burned everything to the ground. They stole all the artifacts and out of the museum, burned our home, all our personal belongings, and uh, left us without anything. That's why Szynski says he's hoping to recoup 3.9 of the $5 million his family lost. The non-Indians massacred our people there, and you want money for this land? When he called me up the very first time, he said I would take two and a half million dollars. I think they should gift it back to us, but if, if it's something that they're requesting to be purchased back, then yeah, we, we have to. The tragedy is that they cannot get together and make a decision on what is best for the Ogallala Sioux tribe. Taisha Walker, Coda Territory News.